Today we're going to go through a very basic example of what Robot Framework can do using Selenium without having to be a programmer. Let's get into it. Okay, first step, we're going to open up PyCharm and create a new project called BASIC. Now under the BASIC directory, we're going to create three folders. The first one is going to be a results folder. Second, we're going to create a tests folder and that's where our robot test lives. And then finally, a resources folder. In this case, we won't be using this folder. Okay. So once we've done that, we're going to create a new file and this is where our test will be created. We'll just call it project.robot. Now we're going to break this file up into a few sections. The first will be settings and then variables. Now these can be invoked by just typing the first couple of letters and the autocomplete will do the rest for us. Last one being keywords. Now that's done. We're going to go ahead and put in a documentation. Now this is just best practice. I'm just going to call this, uh, this is a basic test. But this documentation should be a description of your test suite. Now the next line is to add in the library for the Selenium tests. And we're going to put here Selenium 2 library. This will uh, contain all the keywords associated with the Selenium library. Now our first test, user can open home page. We're just going to create a very simple test here and uh, put in um, a test case. As a user, I can open the home page. So that's our objective and to see the tagline. Now the next step is to add in open browser and that is a keyword that comes with the Selenium 2 library. It takes two arguments, the first being the URL, and then secondly, the browser that you're using, which is in this case, Chrome. The next keyword is wait until page contains. So the browser will open and it will wait until a specific piece or chunk of text is displayed on the page. When it sees that, it will pass its test. So we're just going to the Airbnb website now and we're going to grab that tagline there so that we can confirm that the page has uh, loaded and we put that as the first argument for wait until page contains. So it's going to go there and wait until that appears on the web page and this will be enough verification for us to say that the page has opened. Finally, there we're putting in close browser, and that does what it says. Now the command is robot d results tests forward slash project dot robot, and now we can hit enter, and that will run the tests for us. And as you can see, they have passed. So to see the uh, results of our test, we can go to the results folder, click on the log, right click on the log, and open those in a browser. You can see here, it has all the documentation that we uh, declared before. Our test case has been declared there, and you can see how it has broken down each keyword showing that it has passed by the green um, indicator. And this readout can be quite uh, handy when running tests and you have test cases that are actually failing. You can drill down and see where the actual issue is. So there you go. That's uh, just the first 
basic um, test for you to uh, get an idea of how things uh, work with Robot Framework. Until next time. Hey, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this really valuable and super easy to follow. Uh, if so, a like would be really appreciated and any other feedback welcome too. I've got more tutorials coming really soon, so do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.